Hey, it's my K and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so for today's video, today's video is going to be a little chit chat, a little talkity talk to y'all. All right, I'm going to talk a little bit to y'all. And today's video is just basically going to be about how to be a selfie queen, how to, how to be a selfie queen, confidence 101, you know what I'm saying? And these are just my five tips I use in my daily life to just help me to be more confident. And I've, and I have found these things to be helpful and, and beneficial to me. So before we get started in today's video, y'all gonna wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Please stop before you watch any more of this video and hit the hit that big red subscribe button and turn on these post notifications so you can be notified every time that your girl me moi post a new video um and please follow me on instagram and twitter and whatever else is linked down below um so yeah let's just get started let's just jump right in okay so as you know, I like to write notes because they help me to get out the point I need to say. So, got my little notes and things from last video. In the last video, I, I, I did a sit down with y'all. You know, I, I had to bring the notes. You know, the notes, the notes, they never fail. They never fail me. So, here it is. Okay, so... The first tip, tip number one, tip numero uno, is start with an insecurity you may have and show that aspect off. For example, for example, I don't really like my stomach. I'm just putting it out there for all y'all. I don't really like what my stomach look like, okay? You know, I'm not a big fan of it. But you know, um, you know, I used to hide my stomach in pictures i used to literally wear a certain type of shirt that wouldn't that you know nobody could tell what my stomach looked like you know what i'm saying i would just hide it you know just do a little 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 stuck in little little shirt in front of the stomach and you know i thought that was hiding it, you know and so so then i was just like you know i started hiding it and then something clicked in me. I just was like, nah, I'm going to show it. You know, I'm going to, instead of hiding what I don't like, because that's how self-hatred and negative self-talk festers and it just will continue, I decided to post the pictures showing my stomach, not trying to hide it anymore, basically. And in this like high key low key helped me to become more confident with it and to not really care like about it so i posted it and nobody said anything about it actually it was the exact opposite i thought people were gonna clown me for my stomach and like and i was making it really big but i posted it and that was a really big moment for me to post it but um but i posted it and literally everybody was like oh my gosh you look amazing you're like you know hearts and and all that and i got likes on the picture and so i was just you know like a light bulb clicked and was like amaya you're the only person that looks at at it like that and so it made me realize it's not as big of a you know no pun intended but it's not as big of a deal as you make it out to be so it's honestly what it taught me is we make things bigger in our own head so tip number one what did i say tip, no <laughs> tip number one start with and insecurity and show it off show off your insecurity because i guarantee you are the only person that literally thinks about it that much 
wholeheartedly because I thought everybody was talking about my stomach. Da, 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 da. Oh, she got a big stomach. Oh, her stomach look weird. Da, no, I was the only one that was that was like conscious about it and was just like, oh, your stomach looks bad. Your stomach looks bad. <sighs> Nobody thinks about you like, you know, your <laughs> nobody thinks about your insecurities that much besides you so when you just begin to like you know see hey it's not a big deal like you'll really realize oh you know it's not that bad and now i am comfortable taking pictures without trying to hide it and like contort my body in ways that that like you know you won't see my little pudge my little stomach like now it's like now it's, it's stomach whatever so tip number two tip number, numero dos, tip number two is um constantly look in the mirror and like what you see the more you see your reflection the more comfortable you should be by seeing it now all that means is to get more comfortable just looking in the mirror at yourself. If you don't like what your face look like, you need to look in the mirror. If you think you're not photogenic and all that jazz, you need to look in the mirror a lot. Because A, A it will help you to, to actually become more comfortable with just seeing your face and then and then um and then b i'm about to say number two and b it'll actually like help you to kind of find out what angles are your best angles because i hate to break it to you everybody got a good side and everybody got a bad side so you know what i'm saying so by actually looking in the mirror all the time it's not vain okay so all y'all out there saying it's vain and people getting arrogant, looking at something. No, 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 no. It's really the opposite way around. When you look at yourself, you can find your angles and literally be a selfie queen like your girl, moi, because I take a lot of selfies. But like, you know what I'm saying? You can actually find your angles and find the most, of the most pleasing poses to do for your face shape and your face type. Nah, I ain't gonna get in all that because I don't know nothing about all them face shape, face type. All I know is my face. <laughs> and I know what what way to turn to make myself look a certain way because I know my face. So tip number two, what are you gonna do? Start looking in the mirror more to A, be more comfortable with knowing what you look like. Okay, you need to be comfortable with this. You need to see it and see all of the the goodness in it and all of the, you know, things that you might not want to see in it. But you have to become more comfortable with looking at it and seeing it. And the more you see something, the more you might you, you might wind up to like it. And B, the second thing is you will learn your angles. Okay, you will stand in the mirror, you'll be looking at yourself, be like, oh, hold up. I look good looking like this. I look good. I look good in this angle. Like right here. This is my angle right here. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so <laughs> do those two things and it'll sure help you. Okay, the third tip. Tip numero tres. Tres. So take selfies without filters to know what you look like in a picture without it that to me is a big thing especially nowadays we have filters to airbrush what we look like and to make our lips look bigger and our eyes look look a certain way y'all it is a trick to do that okay it is a trick to take pictures with filters now i'm not saying don't put a filter on your picture that's not at all what i'm saying if you take one thing from this video don't be saying a mice they don't take no pictures without filters because trust me honey i'll take a picture with a filter any day 
okay? But I know what I look like without it, okay? You have to know that that picture of you with a filter is not you. It is you, but it's a distorted version of you. Because I'm telling you from actual experience, I used to take photos with filters all the time. And subconsciously, I thought I looked like that. And I would be shocked when I would turn on my camera regularly and see, I don't look like, like, and I would be literally upset and distraught that I did not look like the filter picture. Like I was like, I look good in that picture, but you have to, to tr train yourself to be like, I look good in both pictures. Like, Filter me and no filter me, they both look good, just in different ways. One is a more airbrushed, a more pristine picture. And the other one is a real picture of you, like all of you. And like, so please appreciate that, that you, because that is really you. And this, these filters that we use are only just a mask to mask our you know imperfections so i really plead with y'all to start taking pictures without the filter like to know what you look like without that filter on and to be okay with what that person looks like without the filter on you know what i'm saying i don't have a filter on right now and I know I look pretty darn good without no filter. But guess what, honey? I'll put that filter on real quick and I look snatched too, okay? So, you know, you, okay? So please, what are we gonna do? Start taking pictures without the filters. Now, I'm saying just know what you look like. That's it, period. So just learn to take pictures without the filters on and appreciate that person without the filters because i know i do okay <laughs> and so the fourth one accept your flaws and insecurity that's the first like n tip tip numero cuarto that is what that's for yeah cuarto tip numero cuarto tip number four accept your flaws and insecurities now, acceptance, now, acceptance don't mean you gotta like it, because, okay, that is, that is not what acceptance means. Acceptance means to, to just say, you know what, it is what it is. This is what it's gonna be, and this is something I can't change, and it is what it is, and I'm gonna say, all right, and accept it. You have to dig deep within yourself now this part is very much so easier said than done it is it's easier said than done but once you begin to to accept it and accept what you look like without the filter and begin to accept those flaws and the things you hate most about yourself or you just don't like about yourself you'll be able to to move past them you'll be able to you know to um, say you know what this is who i am this is me and and it is what it is i mean i like it but i have to live with me and that to me i think is one of the hardest steps but also it's the more important steps because it's dealing with in here internally it's it's something it takes time you know i'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna lie. it takes time to accept what you look like acceptance is a journey i'm not gonna sit up here and say if you just say i accept myself you accept yourself no no i'm not gonna lie to you like that is, that's a lie you have to work on it day by day day in and day out which brings me to tip number five cinco tip cinco all right the last tip, which I feel is very important. Let's get it out. It says, be your own hype man or hype woman, you know. Be your own hype person. Affirm yourself. 
Change your self-talk. Give yourself one compliment for every negative thought. Find the beauty in yourself. Now, that, that tip is chef's kiss. Now, you have to affirm yourself. I like to say, fake it till you make it too. With these, um, you know, positive things about yourself. Now, don't dog yourself out. Because people will already dog you out. So, don't be another person that will dog yourself out. Please don't. Don't do that to yourself. Because life will beat you up and spit you out. So, don't be another harsh person on yourself. So, what I do is I, you know, will say, I look good. And I look at myself, I'll be like, oh, girl, look at you with the little, look at you with the little headband on. Look at you with your, ooh, uh, with your makeup done right. Look at you with the little lip gloss on. Look at you. You know, I will literally find positive things to say about myself. Even on my worst day, I will look at myself and be like, at least. At least your skin popping. You know what I'm saying? Because I have bad days too. Don't just think, you know, Amaya wake up, you know, looking this good every day. Because, you know, everybody got a bad day. So, even on my bad days, I'll be like, she's still, you know, she's still kind of cute. She's still, she's, she's still got that good skin. She still has those beautiful eyes those glasses so you know what i'm saying so you have to affirm yourself and be your own hype man because if not you then who you know what i'm saying if not who then if not you then who is gonna do it so that's my little you know so i'm gonna get off my soapbox about how to be a selfie queen confidence one-on-one these are just my five tips to help y'all that have really helped me um, throughout my self-love journey and have just made me more confident in myself and me as a person. And I hope that each and every one of you guys can take something away from this video. If not all five of these tips, at least one of them. Jeez, at least one of these tips. You can leave a comment down below and let me know which one of these tips you're going to do, if not all five, you know, because I think they're pretty great tips. But, you know, all five take, you know, a minute to be able to do. So just list one, um, you know what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much for sitting here and listening to me talk about self-confidence and how to be a selfie queen, baby, because that was my nickname in high school, the selfie queen, because I literally take so many pictures my friends can all say that they like to call me vain but guess what i'm not i'm just confident <laughs> so for all y'all out there saying my take me pics my look this up uh, stop okay pause look my take these selfies because my knows she's cute okay so it ain't vain it's self-love and confidence and it's not arrogance either Okay, don't let nobody tell you your confidence is arrogance or vainness, whatever. Don't let nobody tell you that because it ain't. They wish they had had that. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. And please, again, hit that. What big red. Oh, we're going to have to cut that out because I stuttered hard. But <laughs> please subscribe like comment and share and please again turn on those post notifications so you can be notified every time the girl posts a new video and thank y'all so much and what do i say after every video stay blessed stay beautiful baby okay hey it's my k and welcome back to my channel hey. so for today's video we are in my car. Usually we're in like my house, but today, you know, I decided to, you know, do a little dip. Oh my God, I just saw a freaking bird. I hate birds, bro. Like, like I, if you know me, you know I freaking have a 
an aversion to birds, a fear, as you may. Ornithophobia. That's a little, um, <laughs> that's a little, uh, birdophobia. So I have that. And I'm, oh, the bird just like flew and I have my window open. So it's like, I'm a little shook. At it. I'm a little, a little shook, a little, a little upset. We'll shake it up.